Now, my next guest says if you're planning to go to Los Angeles, the police cannot guarantee your safety. With me now, Los Angeles Police Detective Jamie McBride, the director of the L.A. Police Protective League. Uh, sir, very good to have you join us, and thank you for taking the time. Is it that bad? It is. You know, I've been in law enforcement in Los Angeles for 31 years. Um, I haven't seen crime like this since the mid-90s. Um, homicides are, are up everywhere. There is the most homicides we've had in the last 25 years. Um, you know, and I heard George Gascon yesterday at his press conference um, talking about the suspect that killed Jacqueline Avant. And what he said was that the criminal justice system failed him, the suspect, that he should have been involved in more programs each time he got arrested. Um, that's insane. I mean, um, I don't think any program is going to have uh, uh, help anybody like a Jeffrey Dahmer or a Richard Ramirez. Um, there's just evil that exists in the world, and, and people need to realize that, and that evil needs to be locked up. Um, you know, we had a 12-year-old boy that was shot down just the other day. His mother was also shot, and a 9-year-old uh, girl was shot in the, in the back in, in the playground. Um, you know, one minute this, this poor kid is, is excited about Christmas, and his mom's planning on what to buy him, and now she's planning his funeral. That's what's going on, you know, and um, when I see the, the soft on crime approach that George Gascon and also another soft on crime district attorney up north in uh, San Francisco, uh, crime in both cities are just crazy. It's like uh, living in the movie Purge. Uh, every day is, is crime is just running rampant. Nobody cares. Uh, the officers are doing their job. Uh, we, we constantly arrest people. We put them in jail and they're literally getting arrested. I mean, getting released faster than the officer can, can uh, finish the report. Um, and and they're, they're throwing their hands up. They're, they're, they're frustrated because they want to protect this, the citizens of Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, so the only thing we can say is if you're planning to come to Los Angeles for Christmas or, for, or to visit, please don't. We can't assure your safety. Um, and I feel for the small business owners saying that because I know they need a business. But there's only one thing I gain or we gain from telling you not to come to Los Angeles is that we know you'll be safe. And that's enough but for you know, us. If, if you think safe, about it, Detective, this is, uh, I'm sorry, sir, this is playing out in a number of cities, including New York, where there's almost like a turnstile when you go to see, uh, you know, be arraigned on something, you're let go. And, and uh, I, I know in California, had this unique situation where they try, tried to limit the number of cases involving those for petty theft. So I think it's up to $2,000 worth of goods you steal, and they won't even bother with you. And that encouraged people to steal up to $2,000 and then some goods. And, and, and it's accelerated beyond just simple burglaries to homicides and the like that are now, again, at multi-year records. So when, when I heard Mr. Gascon talk about some crimes are going down, what is he talking about? Because the numbers I'm looking back, so robberies, burglaries, life-threatening incidents, homicides are going up at a double-digit clip. Well, you know what? He's saying that uh, robberies are down um, and some other crimes are down. He's actually wrong. The, what's going on are, are people are getting robbed at record numbers. They're just not reporting it. They, they live in fear in some parts of the city of Los Angeles, and, and they're just not reporting the crimes to, to the uh, law enforcement. So crimes, you can't say that robberies are down, but yet murders are up. It doesn't happen. If there's violence when there's murders, there's going to be violence when there's, when there's robberies. Uh, so that's just that's the, what's going on. Nobody's reporting these crimes. They're just not as much. Um, but they're also Gaston happening, also detected to your point, they're also happening to your point, and we're seeing this in the New York area as well, uh, in, in, in brazen attacks at that in broad daylight. Uh, and sometimes forget about running out of the store that's been rampaged. They're walking out. And sometimes folks are holding the door open for them. I mean, what the heck? Well, well, you know what, and, and uh, let's not forget, some of these city leaders, uh, like George Gascon and others, uh, they're actually blaming the victim because they wear nice jewelry, they, they wear nice clothing, they carry a nice purse, and they're telling him not to do that. I mean, I don't know what, what goes on in his head. He's, he's really del delusional. Um, and you know what, I, I put him at uh, um, as, as fault as the same person that committed some of these murders because he's letting these people out. And if, if I could, I would arrest him for accessory to murder because I think he's responsible for some of these murders. Um, something needs to be done with him, it needs to be recalled. Uh, same with the district attorney in San Francisco. Um, and that's what needs to be done in order to protect our citizens. Yeah, it's just wild. I, even when I think in Chicago and the mayor is saying that retailers have to do more uh, to, to, to crack down on this sort of stuff in their stores, uh, would if they could. Um, Detective, thank you very, very much. We'll keep an eye on all of this. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.